build what? You are not going to believe what we're gonna deliver in today's video and what China is gonna deliver. This is truly remarkable. This is one of the most amazing rail links you will ever see. And yes, they did it. They pulled it off and spent billions of dollars doing it. That's right, they put a high-speed rail link through the Three Gorge area, which can handle trains going at speeds of 350 kilometers an hour. That's right, blasting through mountain ranges, you name it, we're about to show it to you right now. This is a mega city of over 30 million people. Go down in history as one of the most amazing rail lines on earth. I give you the Zhengzhou Chongqing High Speed Railway. Let me explain why this miracle infrastructure was designed. I'm going to start by telling you a little story of how we got to this part in history. I'm standing here in front of the Chongqing North Railway Station line. This is a green train. This is how people used to travel. I actually took this green train from this very station. Now, for all of you, it went really well. And it was an amazing expedition, an amazing uh, time to travel. Now these trains only do about 120 kilometers an hour. Just 15 years ago, this was the standard way of how to take a train here. But now, things have drastically changed. If you're not aware, but by the end of 2021, China had more than 40,000 kilometers of high-speed rail, HSR we call it. Now they have the longest HSR network in the world. So as China has proven in the past, it won't let the most complex terrain get in its way. It's moved mountains and built more bridges in some cities in your own country, just to improve the speed of these rail lines. Can you imagine traveling through the, the Gorge mountain range at a record speed of 350 kilometers an hour? Well, we're gonna show that to you today. The Zhengzhou Chongqing High Speed Railway starts in Zhengzhou City in the Henan Province. It connects existing Chongqing Wangzhou Railway and ends at Chongqing City. The total length is 818 kilometers. It's an essential part of China's eight vertical and eight horizontal high speed railway network. So in the past, it took about 20 hours to travel from Chongqing to Beijing by ordinary train. And by high-speed rail, it took about 10 hours. Now with the new line between Zhengzhou and Wanzhou, it's been reduced to just seven hours. The save time is derived from a new line that is totally different from the past. The newly built section of this railway in Chongqing goes through Wushan County, Fengji County, Yuan County, and Wanzhou District, namely the Three Gorge Reservoir area. Now, the topography of the Three Gorge Reservoir area is complex and changeable, as well as in engineering geological conditions, this makes it extremely difficult. The construction of this line is full of challenges. Cities in the Three Gorge Reservoir area thrive on water and abundance of precipitation, which has created a series of large rivers. The first challenge of the high-speed rail is to cross them with several types of designs. The Chongqing section of the zhengzhou wanzhou high-speed railway has 32 bridges with a total length of 10 kilometers.
To reach the mountain cities, the high-speed railway needs to pass through Wushan, Qiwushan, and other huge mountains. So 27.5 tunnels with a total length of 169.7 kilometers have been dug, accounting for 92.3% of the railway, which is named the high-speed railway subway style. Xinjiang的这一段的这个隧道的总长呢是一百六十九点七二八公里，呃，二十七点五座隧道。隧道占比呢是在九十二点三一，一级分享隧道呢就是那个小三下隧道。主要的问题呢还是盐融水的问题。